Guys, this is Boulder. I need help. I'm in trouble. You stole from that Goliath we were told to avoid, didn't you? I can't help it. Come on, help me take this guy. No! We haven't rested. We're in no shape to fight. We're getting out of here. Now, where are you? Look, the guy's using explosive arrows. Just listen out for them. Dimension door. I can see you. Run towards me. Up, boys. Thanks for the save, Mira. I still think we could fight this guy. Go! Oh! Gates toad! Let's do that again. I hate you so much. The wizard specifically said, don't go near the Goliath. I'm sure whatever is in here is worth it. You don't even know what you stole? Some tea, Master Xander. Yes. Thank you, Dito. You tried to kill me for taking it, so it must be valuable. Uh... Shit, yeah, you're welcome, bitches. Hang on, that was totally our character. Let me try again. Is everyone all right? We're fine. Thank you, Mira. Oh, I recognize this. It's a time travel device, a time turner. No way. Mm -hmm. It allows you to go back one hour, but you can only use it once though. Oh, that's still cool. Pizza's here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> fucking. Hey man, how's up? Oh yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Ah, oh, fucker! You guys take your long rest and regather back at the table in your home cabin. What do you do? Well, firstly... Well, we need coin because we need to pay Dito. This is true. My services are not cheap. You're my butler. Yes, a premium butler, not a slave. We're broke because of your premium services. It's fine. We just need to take a few jobs and we'll be sweet. Indeed. And I have several of interest. You seem conveniently ready for this. What's your highest paying job? A half-orc creature is terrorizing the nearby village of Blackstone. They're offering 300 gold to anyone that slays the beast. 300 gold? That's piss money. Whoa, Mira, I come from down south. 300 gold is more than my parents would make in a year. As a highborn elf, that was basically my weekly allowance. Your youth allowance? Yeah, from Fantasy Centrelink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to the discussion at hand. We take the orc job. Okay, we'll say you easily get to your location. It's a dark, desolate cave, and the walls smell dank. I cast dancing lights. You make your way down the large, dark cave until you realize that there's something ahead. Mira, with your dark vision, you're able to see a large humanoid figure. It's a half walk. He sees you and opens his mouth. I throw a dagger before he says anything. <sighs> Shit, okay. We should talk to him first. No, what if he's gonna cast a spell? Plus, I wanna hit something. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna need everyone to roll initiative to see the turn order. Crap, five. 17. 12. All right, the half orc got a 13. So Boulder, you've got a surprise attack. Roll to see if you hit. 
And Mira, you're up next. I move into range and fire. Shit. My turn. Sorry, Boulder. I'm in range. Really? Sorry. Seventeen. Yes. Nice. That's above his armor class. Roll the damage. Roll to see if you hit. Fuck! One. One? That's an automatic fail. Alright, that's it. Nah, this guy's pissing me off, right? I'm gonna burn my action surge, slice his fucking throat. Natural 20. That's a critical, double your damage. Skewed him. Awesome stuff. All right, what do we find? Okay, well, as the dancing lights illuminate the walls, you start to notice things. You see drawings. Not much better than caveman artwork, but there's a definite style to them, and they seem to weave together a story. They tell the story of a creature attempting to contact the humans in the village, a child lost in the woods, the creature coming to lead her home only to be met with spears and hostility. From the next set of drawings, you get the sense that the half-orc fought the villagers, killed one out of self-defense, and then fled. Guys, I think he was just scared. Should have just talked to him. All right, I see what you're doing. Boulder jumps into situations too hastily. You seem kind of frustrated, you know, in real life. Okay, that may be bleeding into it. All right, but role playing's not perfectly removed, so I'm sorry. You wanna talk about it? No, thank you, Ezra. Let's just, we should, I should have talked to him. I'm sorry. Yeah. I have an idea. Let's say we use that little time turner you picked up and go back before the battle. Can we do that? You can certainly try. I'll be more calm this time. Yeah, and I'll, uh, maybe we can negotiate a peace between the villagers and the half-orc. Let's do it. All right, and with that, you three go back in time using the device and start re-entering the cave in three, two... There was a time machine in that bag. Fuck. <laughs>